Hello there, and as usual, I'm Aaron from My Stand Gamers, and welcome. So, I want to welcome you to The Belt, our latest server. Now, this server consists of a giant asteroid field in the center, then to the sides we have HQs, and then between the HQs and the belt we have forward operating bases, and then slap bang in the middle we have ourselves a central outpost. Now what's quite cool about this map and the concept behind it is we want players to work for one of two factions. And because of that, it means that there is a hell of a lot of fighting on a larger scale going on. We've also mixed a few other things up, but let's take a look around some of the entities. So just to try to cover as much as we can, we're just going to jump to the various outposts as we go. So we're moving a little bit too fast here. So we're over at this small little base. I'm guessing Nano's working here because they look like his sort of ship designs. And we've actually turned off projectors on this version of the server just to see how it affects performance and so on. A server without printers is very, very good for performance. In the future, we might put them back on, but you can see this little shipyard is taking place and it's not your usual sort of shipyard. And the reason for that, if we just uh, rotate our sun around a little bit, let's get to our admin tools, rotate that around. You can see that players are actually having to build up their ships in layers. So it means that they're manually having to place the blocks. It makes ships more valuable. So after a fight, they're more likely to collect up as much salvage as they can. And they've got to remember how their ships are constructed together. So we've seen a lot of unique designs. Rather, in previous servers, we've just seen a lot of things yunked from the workshop and stuck into the world. So we've got this cool little space station taking shape here with all the supplies that it needs. So this is currently an Inic outpost. Let's just turn our light on, have a quick look inside. So the interior is not yet furnished. We've got ourselves some cryo bays down there looking straight out the window. Very nice indeed. And a cool little disco fighter. Let's keep having a look. Let's see what else the players have been working on. So that was an Inic outpost. So let's have a look. That looks like a wrecked ship. We've got ourselves a miner. This is the COJ base. So let's have a quick look at this. Give it a spin. Get ourselves into the right sort of perspective. So another little space station out here in the void. Now, one of the parameters we set with this server is you can build 10 kilometers from the FOB or the HQ. And the reason for this is to try to keep players close enough to the objectives where they can get involved and close enough where their bases will act as a sort of defensive system. So you can see over there, we actually have the Inic HQ. And these guys are only 793 meters away from it. So it's a little bit risky building here, but it looks like they're working on some sort of larger ship. But the same issue has occurred here. It looks like they've taken some damage. Someone has had a go at this place. There's a smaller fighter attached here. We keep our light on. We can have a quick look at it. it. Looks like it's some sort of wing design. Maybe beacons going in the side. Once again, a bit damaged or incomplete. But very cool indeed. And on top of that, it looks like they've got a semi-constructed sort of void. It looks like one of void ships, to be honest. Very nice indeed. A cool little shipyard. Let's continue on. So we've had a look at the COJ. We've had a look over here. Now we're at the DBS base. So the DBS base here itself, they've got two ships being worked on. They've got clearly belonging to the DRF with the, the purple color scheme. But you can see they're slowly welding up the ships. This is very early on in the server. So at these stages, a lot of players are still trying to find the sort of footing, how things work, how to actually play and how to keep the, you know, the rules in check. So we've got this cool little outpost taking shape and all the supplies are in the center over there. You can see at the belt. So they've got to be careful. They've got to make sure these outposts don't run out of supply and constantly make trips into the belt. That is a PvP hotspot. Now, players, when they spawn, they head into the belt. They need to gather as much supplies as they can and then head out to build up one of the outposts. So it does make for some really cool gameplay, as we've seen at the moment. So let's continue going down. We've got a bit of ARC. Let's have a quick look at them. So ARC, we've got another one of Void's like defender-looking ships. These double-tip designs. So this base is a lot more functional in structure. They've got themselves the welders over in that segment. Let's keep our lights on. This looks like some sort of transport ship or maybe a storage ship. What's over here? Oh no, it may just be a rocket ship taking shape. But very functional one at that. A miner down there below. And they've got a variety of small fighters taking shape there as well. So quite a cool little construction. Now what's, what's this? This is just like a storage ship. So maybe what they do is they take out the drill ship with the storage ship with a little bit of an escort into the asteroid cluster. Mine what they need, fill up the storage ship or when the storage ship's completed and then head back. So it looks like they're building like a, a black sort of 
cube around this interior. I've seen this before where they color code everything. It's a nice idea, but they've had to build this one from scratch rather than importing a blueprint. We've also got a nice looking ship here as well, using a bit of glass. Lots of cow containers, so it's that's telling me that the supplies are really quite necessary on here, and you're going to need a lot of them. What's this guy doing over here? Is he is he a welder, a grinder? Let's have a look. Yeah, he's a welder ship, so he's like an old school printing ship. So he'll be going up and down over the blocks that people have placed and uh, building the ships up as fast as possible. One of the larger bases, this one. Very nice indeed. Let's keep going. Let's keep having a nosy through the entity list. So we've got a damaged ship over there. That's the same outpost. We've got some more damage going on. Let's um, have a look at... We've got the Z ZRO, little outpost taking shape. So a much smaller sub sort of DRF outpost going on here with the damaged ship on the top. It looks like they're just starting out there getting what they need together. Let's continue moving through the grids. So if we go a little bit further, we have the REV base. So it looks like they're just building some sort of giant ball type station for them to connect to. They've got a landing gear on the side there. This could be actually be a ship. Well, let's have a nosy inside. So they've got themselves what looks to be a piston with retracting solar wings that go out to each side. Cool idea. <laughs> Very snazzy indeed. But let's keep having a look through some of the other bases that are out here. So if we just scroll down, try not to miss anything. But every now and then I do tend to miss one. So we've seen Nano is minor. We've seen that a sparking ship. Very nice indeed. Some people not claiming their salvage. There's enough salvage out here to last people a few weeks. So let's let's go have a look. So we've got another outpost right here. So this particular outpost looks like another black design. Trying to be as camouflage as possible, especially when these players are online. Now, this is what I saw was quite unique before. They've got these turrets that are inserted around the grid to defend it. But they've also been building stacked tons of these ships. A very simplistic looking fighter. Now, it looks like something that they can easily readily produce. Maybe it's maneuverable, maybe it's not. I'm not too sure. But they are absolutely printing the hell out of these and remember each one of these has to be manually built one by one so someone has been a very very busy bunny very cool indeed we've also got another sort of ship taking shape in the background here looks like more of your standard sort of assault craft with the rocket launchers at the tip and coming towards the bottom of the station oh we've got a pretty logo here so this says sgc very nice and then we've got a docking port another one of the little fighters at the bottom and then we've got another capsule here that i'm guessing is some sort of transport slash cargo some small little ship like that. Yeah, it's not armed at all. Oh, no. oh, is it? No, it's got one Gatling gun on. Just enough to probably get into the belt and do some damage. Let's have a quick look inside. So as we go inside here, we've actually got a hangar area where these smaller ships can possibly dock. And then we've got the cryo bays. Quite a nice sort of space station. Simple in design, but it's going to be very, very functional and easy to build from. That's exactly what you need. Anyway, let's continue moving on. So we're back onto the entity list. Let's go right down to the bottom. Um, let's have a look at some of the biggest grids. So this is some of the block counts. So we have the Watchtower Station. Wow, this one's really taking shape. Let's have a quick look at this. So I'm not too sure which way is up and down, but it's looking like a traditional sort of state space station RSA are working on. This is going to take a lot of time. They've got corridors connecting between the areas. Oh, I guess, I guess I'm upside down anyway. Quickly rotate around. Ignore my slow spectator speed. So yeah, they've got a full laden outpost like this with beautiful windows. Of course, it looks fantastic. Hopefully, they've got the supplies. They've got wheels in this room. Interesting. Not too sure what that is. Please finish building the Gatling turrets. I got permission to secure with turrets, but we need more. Oh, a classic message to your faction there. And then you've got a rotating part of the station being crafted here. Oh, risky but exciting. And then you've got welders up at the tip here. So this is maybe some sort of building yard they're working on. Well, there's a lot of cool things getting constructed. What's this? Oh, is this some sort of clang worshipping station? Aaron, use this button. Oh, okay. So what has this player been building then? Let's have a quick look. So I like it when they build weird machines and stuff like this. I'm not sure what's actually behind here. Let's have a quick note before we press anything. So if we press this, it powers a console block. Oh, hold on. Oh, with <laughs> very cool indeed. I like that. Really nice little thing. I don't know if it really fits yet. Maybe it should be somewhere within the station. 
But a very nice concept and it's got like a little fire pit that you can light down there as well. So let's wrap this video up here. Now this is the final station I wanted a quick look at. You can see a lot of them are in this early stages of construction. The server's only been up for a few days. So both factions have been exchanging over the outpost. There'll be some more footage to follow. But if you want to get involved, you can join in through the active and loyal system on our Discord. Or you can alternatively come through Patreon. Both of them give you access to the server for supporting myself and the community. Anyway, I'd like to thank you guys for watching, and I will see you next time.